What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're looking at column multiplication of large numbers. Let's jump into it with a green chilli challenge. Okay, our two tips for today are number one, we're going to partition the number to help us answer it. And we're going to begin with the smallest values. So because we're using column multiplication, I need to get my columns ready. And I'm going to start by doing my column titles. So I have ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Now this helps me put my 2,452 in the correct place. So 2,452 is made up of two thousands, four hundreds, five tens, two ones. And my 52 is five tens, two ones. Put my equals line and I'm ready to begin. Now where do I begin? Well, it said begin with my smallest values. Well, the smallest number is 52. And the smallest value in my 52 is in the ones column, being this 2. So this 2 is where I'm going to start. And I'm going to multiply it by the smallest value of the other number, which is this 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. Put that in the ones column ready. Next question, therefore, would be the next smallest value, which is this 5 in the tens column. 2 times 5 is 10. But now I have a small problem because I can't just put 10 here in the tens column because each column can only hold one digit. So what I have to do is carry the one across and put the zero in the tens column. So it still reads 10, but I've just carried the one into the hundreds column, ready to be added to the hundreds. Because if we think about it, what we've actually just answered here is two times 50, because that five in the tens column holds the value of 50. And two times 50 equals 100. So we had a 1 in the 100s column, which makes it 100, 0 in the 10s, and we didn't add anything to the 1s. So I did put my 100 in place. We're just doing it in a very quick and efficient method. OK, let's go to the next question. 2 times 4, which is 8. But don't forget about this 1. Add it on equals 9. And my final question is 2 times 2, which is 4. So what I've just done here is I've just answered 2 times 2,452, and that equals 4,904. But I'm not yet finished because so far I've ignored this 50. So I'm now going to answer the question 50 times 2,452, and I'm going to add these two together in a moment. Now, here's where people make a huge mistake. What a lot of people will do is they will just start by doing 5 times 2 is 10. And they'll put their answer like this. But that's not correct because this 50 is a 50 and not just a 5. So if we want to only do 5 times 2 rather than 50 times 2, we need to put a placeholder in the 1s column. Now I can just do 5 times 2, which is 10. Now let's think about what we just did there. The question is actually 50 times 2. And 50 times 2, as we know, equals 100. Now, if we look at my answer, my answer shows 100. I have a 1 in the 100s column and a 0 in the 10s and a 0 in the 1s. But if I didn't put that initial placeholder and just did 5 times 2, I would get an answer of 10. And 50 times 2 is not 10. So I have to make my answer 10 times bigger by putting the magic placeholder. So whenever we come into this column where this 5 is, I need to remember it's actually a 50, and I can do that by adding the 0 into the 1s column, ready. Hopefully that makes a bit of sense. Now I can just do 5 times 2 again, put my answer of 10, and now I'm ready to carry on. Next question would be 5 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25, plus my 1, 26. Next one is 5 times 4. 5 times 4 is 20, plus my 2, 20. 2. And finally, my last question is 5 times 2. 5 times 2 is 10, plus my 2 is 12. So my answer to 50 times 2,452 is 122,600. So now what I've done is I've just partitioned the question into these two individual questions. I now need to add it up. So I'm going to put another equals line here, and I'm just simply going to use column addition to help me here. But remember, I'm only adding these two elements here together because these are my answers. 
So my first question is in the ones column, four add zero is four. In the tens column, zero and zero is obviously zero. Hundreds, nine add six is 15. Carry the one across, and put a five. In my next one, four add two is six, plus my one is seven. In my ten thousands, two add two is four. Sorry, I'm having to write over the Math Shelter logo. And in my hundred thousands, I have a one on its own. So my answer to 2,452 times 52 is 147,504. Wow. If you've just understood that, you are awesome. If not, go back and watch it again until you do get it. But let's step it up a bit with a red chili challenge. But before we do that, think about pressing the subscribe button if you're enjoying this video and learning anything. Let's jump to the red chili challenge. Right, now I have 7,283 times 15. First step, put my column titles, ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Put my question in place, 7,283 times 15. Now I'm ready to begin. First step, finding the smallest value, which is gonna be this five times three. Five times three is 15. So I already have some lending to do. Put the one across and add the five into the ones column. Five times eight is 40, plus my one is 40. One. Next question is five times two, which is 10, plus my four, 14. And finally, five times seven is 35, plus my one, 36. So this answer here is the answer to five times 7,283. Now let's multiply the 10. And again, I'm gonna respect the fact that it's a 10 by making the answer 10 times larger by putting in my placeholder. Now I can just do one times three, which is three, one times eight, which is eight, one times two, which is two, and one times seven, which is seven. So this question here has just answered 10 times 7,283. Am I finished? Not yet, because now I've just got my two partitioned answers. I'm now needing to put it back together by adding them to get a final answer. Five add zero is five. One add three is four. Four add eight is 12. Six add two plus my one is nine. Three add seven is 10. So my answer is 109,245. Let's look at what to remember. Set up your columns correctly using the place value titles. Begin by multiplying by the smallest values first. If a mini answer is greater than 10, then we must carry it into the next column. When we get to the second digit of the bottom number, we must include a placeholder. Now it's your turn. Have a go at answering these two questions here. I've got a red and a green chili challenge. Press pause on the video now, good luck. And there you have it. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, think about subscribing to the channel. But for now, guys, I'm going to see you in another video. Peace out.